Hello everyone welcome to today's episode. Where we delve into a significant development that could reshape the financial landscape of Iraq. Recently, the United States made a move that sent ripples through the Iraqi economy via the closure of the Development Fund for Iraq, DFI, account. This fund has been the cornerstone of Iraq's oil revenue collection and management since 2003, under the supervision of the United Nations and the United States. The DFI account, held at the US Federal Reserve Bank, allowed Iraq to receive its oil revenues in dollars. These funds were crucial for covering essential expenses, adhering to agreements established with the United States. However, in a letter dated March 18, 2024, addressed to the Finance Committee of the Iraqi Parliament, the Deputy Governor of the Central Bank, Amakalov, announced the closure of this pivotal account. But what does this mean for Iraq's economy? The oil revenues that once flowed into the DFI are now being redirected to a new account, enigmatically named Iraq 2. This transition has raised eyebrows and concerns among financial experts. One such expert, Kamar and Kadir Yaqub, a finance and banking specialist, warns that the protections previously afforded to Iraq's revenue might no longer be in place. The fear is that Iraq too could be susceptible to potential interference or manipulation by external forces, posing a significant threat to Iraq's financial stability. The closure of the DFI account also sheds light on another aspect of Iraq's financial dealings a contractual arrangement with a US company for the transportation of dollars from the United States to Iraq. Under this contract, Iraq paid a hefty security deposit of $441,000, alongside a transportation fee of $216,310 for each convoy of dollars. This arrangement highlights the intricate and often opaque nature of international financial relations and the vulnerabilities of countries dependent on oil revenue. As we explore the ramifications of this closure, it's essential to consider the broader context of Iraq's economic situation. The country has been striving to rebuild and stabilize after years of conflict and political upheaval. The DFI was more than just an account it was a symbol of international cooperation and trust in Iraq's ability to manage its resources. The sudden shift to Iraq too raises questions about the future of this trust and cooperation. What's next for Iraq? Stakeholders and observers are keeping a close eye on the developments, assessing the impact on the country's economic stability and future prospects. The Iraqi government faces the challenge of navigating these turbulent financial waters, ensuring that the nation's wealth is protected and utilized for the benefit of its people. As the story unfolds, we will continue to monitor the situation and provide updates. The closure of the DFI account is a reminder of the delicate balance that exists in the world of international finance and the profound effects that decisions made in boardrooms and government offices can have on entire nations. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth analysis and updates on global economic developments. Until next time. Stay informed and engaged.